And we're in the kitchen this morning with Dana Howell, general manager from Kosama, and uh, along with Charles Jackson, which is the staff trainer. Now, what are you guys making today? Oh, we're making a great dish for summer. We've got some salmon with some lemon pepper and mm -hmm. some healthy olive oil, as well as some healthy greens. And we're going to be sauteing some veggies over here. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of healthy food to uh, eat maybe after your workout or? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. And we are back now in the kitchen with Dana Howell and Charles Jackson from Kosama in Virginia Beach. They're making an easy and healthy salmon and asparagus salad, and it smells delicious. Um, I just want to ask you both, I was talking to you uh, before we came to this segment, and uh, can you explain for all those viewers that don't know, how is Kosama different from a traditional gym? Well, first off, we're a community, mm -hmm. and we definitely want to bring out the, the warrior in you by giving you all the tools that you need to be very successful. She was just talking about back to school. But some of the things, like this meal right here, takes about 15 minutes. That's and great. like I was sharing with you, I used to try to get my kids in bed at least by 7, 7.30, because I knew that the more sleep they had, the better day they had. Plus, it gave me enough time to prep in the evening, as well as spend some quality time with my spouse. So that's what really makes us different, is we are really a community. And you teach, you not only help out with the workout, but you also teach people how to eat healthy, which That's is right. key, really. Right, which is key, and how to do it really easily. The, and one of the questions I always get is, um, it just seems so hard, and it's really not. It's taking, again, taking your favorite foods, looking at the bad ingredients, taking those out, and substituting them with, um, with healthy choices, like olive oil instead of putting butter on you your salmon. So uh, fresh lemon which I think I paid like 10 cents for this, mm -hmm. versus buying the whole bottle of lemon pepper. You know, keeping it simple, um, keeping your grocery list small, and no processed foods, so it makes I it easy. I think simple is good because a lot of folks, uh, including me, um, you can get overwhelmed by a recipe. So um, mm -hmm. if there's a limited amount of ingredients and uh, it's quick to make, I think that'll uh, really catch everyone's eye. Absolutely, sure. and that's another thing too, like Charles over here is making one of my favorite dishes as well. Okay, so do you want to get into what exactly you're making and the steps? Yeah, to take absolutely. Them? Okay. So what I did was I went and I bought a pound of um, Atlantic salmon, and of course I got the lemon. I've got mm -hmm. my pep lemon, um, my pepper that's in the fridge already. I've also got my olive oil. And so what I did at first is I kind of let it sit for a little bit in the fridge with um, olive oil, um, my fresh lemon, and my black pepper. And now I've got it in this panini pan. And this is something you see me using quite often because it's very easy to clean as well as um, it's really fast. And that's what we're all about is, you know, don't let healthy eating get in the way of, you know, of, of doing it because, you know, they think it's too hard and then they don't do it. Right. So, Everyone's busy, so we yes. need a quick meal. Exactly. So over here I have the onions, the baby, baby bella mushrooms and some asparagus. Um, Preferably, you would want to eat raw because then you're getting in all the nutrients. Mm -hmm. Next would be to maybe either steam or just lightly saute. You don't really want to uh, overcook your vegetables because then you're not getting in all the nutrients that you need for recovery. Okay. Um, so before we uh, come back from the uh, break, we're going to put some uh, baby bellas in the pan and some asparagus in there. Then I'm going to shake it up and then we're going to put it on the plate and then you will be very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to let that salmon cook and uh, we're going to start sauteing uh, these vegetables in the pan here and um, we will be back in a little bit. All right. Thank Great. Thank you. And we're back in the kitchen now with Dana Howell and Charles Jackson from Kosama in Virginia Beach. They're making an easy and healthy salmon with asparagus and salad, and it smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. Charles actually gave me a little piece of asparagus already, and it was great. So we'll talk about how uh, how to wrap up this dish now. Now, how long has the salmon been cooking for? Uh, the salmon's been cooking about 10 minutes, but I've had it on a little bit lower than normal. But um, again, this is, this is one of the dishes that's really gonna serve a family of four, because you're gonna slice this up, put it out here. You can put it in the oven and cook it, that's one of the things I was telling um, one of the gals that I met at the store yesterday mm -hmm. was that you can actually make it into a boat, a foil, and put it into the oven at 350. You're talking maybe 15 minutes. That's pretty and quick. And while you prep everything else, again, you know, back to school's here. You know, so we want to make sure that we're consistent with our workouts, making sure our warriors are getting fed, 
making sure our household is running smoothly. So why not, you know, pick something simple that's you healthy. It's got all of its omega threes. You're looking at everything that you need to be, you know, strong and healthy all the way around. Okay. And Charles, you've been working on the veggies. Yes. Yes. Um, I sauteed the asparagus, like I said before in the beginning, you really don't want to overcook your veggies. Um, 100, 150 years ago, the soil was totally different, so you were getting a lot more nutrients into your vegetables. Uh, now, with the way that things are, uh, you really want to either go raw uh, or steam or just sa saute it lightly. Me personally, I like to actually just saute my asparagus. I don't like for it to be too soft or too soggy. Um, I want it there to be a little bit of a bite to it, so if it starts to wiggle, then it's a little bit too soft for me. <laughs> uh, so what I did was I put the baby bella mushrooms, uh, some, some garden fresh tomatoes from uh, Dana's uh, backyard Yummy. garden, <laughs> some cucumber and uh, some uh, lemon over here. So once the salmon is done, and another thing with salmon, you do not want to overcook it nope. because that's one of the worst things. You go out to a restaurant, you pay all this money for a salmon dish and it's overcooked. Uh, you don't really have to cook salmon too long. You just have to cook it very lightly, mm -hmm. and then it'll actually begin to cook itself after you take it off of the fire. Oh, good to know. Very mm -hmm. good to know. So that's great. So you're really only sauteing the onions and the asparagus here. Um, you can chop up, you know, the other vegetables in the salad while the salmon cooks. And you said it's a uh, pretty quick to do. Um, a lot of times you can buy your stuff that's already washed and mm -hmm. bagged. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've done with the with the actual salad. Again, the tomatoes came from my garden, which I'm totally stoked about. It's taken me a while to grow all of Can't these. Can't wait to try them. Yeah. And <laughs> then um, everything else is pretty simple. And this is something also you can involve your children in while you're cooking. And that's part of why we're such a great community at Kosama. It's because we want you to learn um, to live a more relaxed, fruitful life lifestyle. You know, get in, get your workout done. But also, all of this rolls in and ties together. Mm -hmm. If you can make things really simple, you make your workouts, your kids go to bed early, everything is more controlled, there's less chaos. Right, simple There's is definitely. key. And uh, as the weather gets cooler, I know a lot of folks think they may not have to go to the gym as much and work out. We uh, we don't encourage that. You know, you still want to get your workouts in. Absolutely. And also, you have that Inch Into Fall campaign going on. We do. We have um, our Inch Into Fall campaign, mm -hmm. which is basically um, giving you some recipes as well to get you ready. Mm -hmm. We've got everything from crockpot meals to, you know, something that takes under 15 minutes as well as getting you on a great training program. See, again, we're not a, we're not a gym, we're a community. Mm -hmm. See, when you come in, you're gonna see your buddy, and you're gonna see Charles, and be like, hey, and then it's you're gonna work personal. out together, um, you're gonna hang together, you're going to, you know, change recipes together, you know. Another thing we work with is time management, too, and I think that all is key to having a great, successful fall and getting ready for those holidays because if you put off yeah, your workouts now, everyone overeats on holiday the holidays. Comes, we all you're know that. that. Instead of the freshman 15, you're gonna have the holiday 15. Holiday 15, holiday 20. That's right. Well, one of the things that I wanted to segue uh -huh. with Dana was that uh, we have a Warrior Wednesday program that we have okay. that we have been doing for the past month or two, and basically what that is is what inspires people knowing that other people have had struggles and issues and difficulties along their fitness journey mm -hmm. and that they've overcome those fitness uh, difficulties or uh, situations that they've gone through. So what we've done is we've taken members who have actually, you know, started off at point A, maybe a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. and they've actually trimmed down, they've lost body fat, they're running faster, you know, they're getting off of medication and things like that. So on our Facebook page, uh, every Wednesday you'll see a Wednesday mm -hmm. Warrior. Um, men, women, we've had one gentleman who's lost 70 pounds, another woman who's lost 40 pounds who takes That's my great. class. Um, people who are doing uh, uh, Spartan races and triathlons and half marathons and mm -hmm. things like that. So. Uh, that's one of the things that we want to do. We want to really inspire people to go mm -hmm. past their um, limits that okay. they've actually placed on themselves. And we can always say that you can actually do a little bit more, and they do. All right. Great advice coming from Charles and Dana from Kosama in Virginia Beach. Again, you can check them out at kosama.com slash Virginia Beach or check out their Facebook page.